Hey gang, this is Mr. Phil, and I'm now on part three of my three-part series of this first block of update videos. Um, as I said before in other videos, we're going to run this weekly. We're going to talk about all things related to what's new in my life. And today's video is all about photography. So I took a break from photography in late 2016 uh, to really work hard on building up the studio, um, building a salon, getting bookings, getting all that stuff set, plus to kind of refresh my ideas, you know. Um, I've been shooting professionally as a photographer now for over 12 years and that's a lot of work. That's a lot of time behind the camera and that's certainly a lot of time at the computer doing my edits. So I decided in uh, 2016, it was the first time in those 12 years to take a break, um, to just reevaluate what it was I wanted to do with photography. I and mean, that's a lot of years, that's a lot of images, that's a lot of photo shoots. And so I took my break and I didn't put a time limit on how long I was going to um, take this little hiatus for. but. I miss photography, you know. I use it a lot at the salon to document hair projects. So before, after, um, photo shoots of the hair and now videos of certain hair sessions, I think it's time to return to photography in terms of headshots for models, actors, professionals. Uh, certainly lots and lots of beauty work for your portfolios as maybe a, a makeup artist. Um, or models. Certainly I want to get back into portfolio shooting for you. And then of course there's my personal projects, the things that I feel inspired to do, maybe concepts that I feel like you'd be part of and we can collaborate on. So those are the categories that I'm going to be doing this year. Headshots, portfolio, and personal projects. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Um, the personal projects, let's start there. That's an easy one to talk about because I feel like what I'm going to do is open up a select number of slots per week and per month for personal projects. These are ideas that I come up with and uh, I will recruit someone to shoot with, you know. Um, they're kind of fluid, they're kind of developing as they go, so there's no, um, there's no rule on what I will be shooting for these personal projects, but it's just stuff that I want to create as my own art. And um, so that's category number one, personal projects. Those I will write more about and talk more about in, in upcoming posts. The second feature of photography for this year is headshots. And my space is perfectly outfitted for corporate headshots, business headshots, models, actor headshots. I mean, really that classic head and shoulders photography that is done on my gray background the traditional backbone of what got me into shooting professionally after all is a headshot. So I think I'm going to rework the pricing on all photography for this year, um, but uh, headshots will start at $75 and up. I am very comfortable with booking headshot sessions Monday through Friday and if need be Saturdays and your, your, head, your headshot session is two outfits in studio for $75 and if you need hair styling on top of that we can work out a price for hair styling to be included in your headshot session. Um, without hair services your headshot session is probably going to run about an hour and, and a half. Um, real quick, real easy and we'll give you 15 to 25 edited images for that hour and a half or two hours. But the real big thing that is always exciting to me and exciting to those people that follow me on social media um, is the model portfolio stuff and my beauty work. Those two categories are always, always super exciting to shoot and edit and to collaborate on. So model shoots are going to start at $65 in studio uh, and we're going to start booking new sessions. So I really would like to hear your input on what kind of photo shoots that you guys want to participate in because that's, um, 
part of this whole thing with the model portfolio stuff is receiving feedback on the concepts and the themes and the looks that are important to you. After all, I just shoot them. Um, but yeah, that's really the, the, the quick of it, you know. Um, the photography is alive and well, um, and I'm even getting some bookings for this year to do promotional photo shoots for some local musicians, and that's always a part of what I do. So, I am super excited to take more photos in 2017, to be more connected through social media by way of photography and videography. Um, you know, the things that unfortunately have to be set aside for this year and going forward would be events, um, live performance photos, um, banquets, and weddings. So. I'm going to say it right here in this video, uh, early January 2017, that Phil is retired from event photography and wedding photography, um, as well as concert photography. I just don't have the time to dedicate towards those sorts of um, events or, or projects. And plus, you know, it never has really been my forte or my background. Concert photography was great when I was doing it. Um, while I still had the available evenings, but with work at the salon, often going into evenings, um, concert photography, event photography, and weddings are just not possible for me this year. So wrapping up guys, the focus on photography this year will in fact be um, headshots for professionals, for models, for actors, for promotional work model portfolio, beauty work, and my personal projects. I'm super excited to see where this leads, and the big thing that this year I want to do is include more of these kind of behind the scenes, candid videos as part of photo shoots. So if that's appealing to you and you guys want some video shot during your photo shoot, we can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, so photography is alive and well. Mr. Phil's getting back behind the camera and it's going to be awesome. Let's create some photo magic. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Phil signing off.